A preposition is basically a word that can't stand alone because it wouldn't make sense by itself. Some examples of a preposition would be in, under, or around. You notice these words can't stand by themselves because they don't make sense by themselves. There's not enough information there. So that's where the prepositional phrase comes into play. A prepositional phrase might look like in the tree or around the corner. So right here, in would be a preposition, and tree is what we call the object of the preposition. Because right here, if we just have the preposition in, we're wondering in what? It's in the tree, or around the corner. Around is a preposition, and corner is the object of the preposition. We don't know what's around. It's around the corner. So prepositional phrases just come in sentences, oftentimes at the end of a sentence. So we could say, the squirrel is in the tree. Here again, in is the preposition, tree is the object of the preposition, and squirrel is the subject of the sentence. So if we just have the preposition, this kind of leaves us hanging. We're wondering the squirrel is in what? So tree is the object of the preposition because it tells where the squirrel, or what the squirrel is in. So there's lots of prepositions out there, way many way too many for me to name right now. But I'm going to teach you a trick to help you remember prepositions. All right, there's a tree I drew. That's about the best I can do. But think about a tree and a squirrel, okay? Think about all the things the squirrel can do when near a tree. And that'll help you remember prepositions because a squirrel could be under a tree when under is a preposition. It could be in a tree or around a tree or upon a tree, or behind a tree, beside a tree, next to a tree, beneath a tree, over a tree, toward a tree, past a tree, or by a tree. So all those words I listed, by, past, toward, those are all prepositions. And so by remembering a squirrel and its relationship to a tree, it may seem kind of silly, but that can help you remember many of the prepositions. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.